Hey, what's up everybody? It's Athlet V here, and I think I have found one of the best rocket launcher setups for the game Loadout that I have uh, ever used, actually, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, it's really helpful, and it's amazing at the domination game type. So, here it is. So, basically, uh, with the stock, I use, I use standard because I don't need anything that worsens uh, or changes the stopping power or the, the you know, the recoil, that's not a big deal right now with the launcher. So I'm also using the salvo trigger, which is a really, really important part of this setup. I'm using the bio scanner because normally I'd use laser guidance, but it lowers the damage just a little bit, and that's that kind of sucks. Um, but I use bio scanner just because you know I like to have a scope, but recon's not that useful for rocket launchers basically. Another important part is having hexa barrel. I usually wouldn't recommend it because the low damage that these things bring is, is really annoying, but the salvo trigger kind of fixes that for us. And I'm also using just the normal payload for slug because it does the most damage. Um, corkscrew is really important because it ups the damage just a little bit, but it also takes away all the spread that the salvo trigger gets. Because basically the salvo trigger will let you load in all the rockets and shoot them at once, but it's so spread out it's almost useless. That's where the corkscrew comes in and it fixes that problem basically. I've also got bouncy on just in case I miss, maybe one of the rockets can do some extra damage to someone else. Um, I have it also on contact for the detonator, and another important part is having it on flak. Because clusters aren't going to work in this situation as well, unless you're amazing with it. But flak is nice because it's just basically a wide area damage that the hexa barrel rockets can't really do. Alright everybody, so here it is in practice. Um, you definitely got to get used to the salvo trigger because uh, it's, it's a little different than what most people usually use. But if you do this just right, it's pretty much a one hit kill every time. Um, it's definitely something you got to get used to, but even there you saw that I just took out two enemies with a single blast from this. Now granted, it's a bunch of rockets, you know, in one big shot, but the way this is set up with the corkscrew and everything, it's probably the most effective way, because it's like incredibly clustered in, and the flak is really, really damaging. So if you get used to it, and if you can find the right points to, you know, actually uh, aim the rocket at, then you can get some pretty fantastic kills, and it's really, 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 really awesome at the domination game type, because this just tears people up if they're sitting on the capture point. There's just nothing they can do whenever you got that coming at you. They're going to take some serious damage or die. So basically that's it guys. Not much left to say other than try this out for sure. It's definitely one of the uh, higher bloot cost ones though. It's going to take a little bit for you guys to uh, get everything for this one. But uh, definitely worth it in my opinion if you're a rocket kind of guy. So that's it. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it or if it helped you because it really helps me out too. Um, subscribe if you want to see some more loadout stuff. i got plenty on the channel. But uh, that's it for today. So I'll see you guys later. Half-Blood V out.